Hello and welcome back to Anton Math, the video More Trigonometric Equations 5. Now this is the uh, final video we're going to do with all of these examples of trigonometric equations. So let's go ahead and dive in and do some problems. Secant of 4 theta minus 2 is equal to, the, is equal to 0. So first thing we want to do here, let's go ahead and get secant of 4 theta alone. Secant of 4 theta adding 2 to both sides, this is equal to a positive 2. Now remember, secant is just 1 over cosine. So secant equals 2 when cosine equals 1 half. So we're really looking at the problem cosine of 4 theta equals 1 half. Now remember, we can go ahead and solve for 4 theta first and wait until the very end after we get our general solutions to divide by 4 to get theta all alone. So if cosine of 4 theta is 1 half, we have that 4 theta is equal to our first particular solution between 0 and 2 pi is pi over 3. And we have a period of 2 pi, so we need plus 2k pi. Our second particular solution, this is in quadrant 4 with reference angle pi over 3, that's 4 theta is equal to 5 pi over 3 and to generalize this is plus 2k pi where k is an arbitrary integer. Now we can isolate theta, we can divide both sides of these general equations by 4 and we get that theta is equal to pi over 12 plus and the 2 over 4 reduces to 1 half or k pi over 2 and for this general equation, this becomes theta is equal to 5 pi over 12. Again, 2k pi over 4 is k pi over 2. And this is still where our k is an arbitrary integer. And we're done. Easy peasy. We can't combine these two. You, go ahead and you can plug in some values of k to try it out but these two general solutions don't have any intersecting solutions, so we can't simplify this any more than we already have. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. Cosine of theta, cosine of three theta, minus sine of theta, sine of three theta is equal to zero. When you see a problem like this, this should scream at you addition subtraction formulas, so we need to identify which identity this is, and we can see that this is the addition identity for cosine. So this is the same as cosine of theta plus 3 theta. And this, of course, is cosine of 4 theta. And on that right-hand side, we still have that this is equal to 0. So now we're going to solve for 4 theta. My 4 theta, then, I know that cosine is equal to 0 when 4 theta here is going to be either pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2 plus 2k pi. And remember, we've already found that we can just write that as pi over 2 plus k pi. All right, when k is 1, we get 3 pi over 2. k is 2, we get 5 pi over 2, etc., etc., etc. This captures all of our y-axis uh, angles. And this, of course, is where k is an arbitrary integer. Now to go ahead and finish this out, we need to solve for theta. So theta then is equal to pi over 8 plus k pi over 4, where k is an arbitrary integer, or k is in, or is sum or any element of the set of all integers. All right, we have our general solution. All right, two down, one to go. Let's look at this last problem. Now this last one, we're going to do this problem in two different ways. So we have cosine of 2 theta is equal to cosine squared theta minus 1 half. So we're going to need to use the double angle formula for cosine here. Now be careful, this looks like it should be a quadratic. Uh, at first glance, you're like, well, I have a cosine squared, I have a cosine to the power 1, so I'll just get everything on one side and I'll factor but that's not going to work here. All right, that's a common mistake with a problem that looks like this. Remember, we have 2 theta and theta. In order to factor these, I need to have cosine of theta squared and cosine of theta to the power 1. I can't mix 2 theta and theta. These are different functions. 
So I need to use my double angle formula for cosine. So I'm going to do that on this left hand side. And I want to use the one that only has cosines in it. I don't want to introduce any unnecessary signs. So remember cosine of 2 theta is 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. And on the right hand side I still have this cosine squared theta minus 1 half. So let's go ahead and get my cosine squareds on one side and my numbers on the other side. So subtracting cosine from both sides, on the left I'm left with cosine squared theta. And on the right I have negative 1 half plus 1, which is a positive 1 half. And we've seen the problem from here already. We did this problem before, but let's go ahead and do it for practice. Taking the square root of both sides, this is going to give me that cosine of theta is equal to plus or minus 1 over the square root of 2. And we usually rationalize that denominator, so it's plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. So let's go ahead and solve out our general equation. Uh, if I look at all the particular solutions between 0 and 2 pi, I'm going to get theta is pi over 4 plus 2k pi. Theta is 3 pi over 4 plus 2k pi. Theta is 5 pi over 4 plus 2k pi. And theta is 7 pi over 4 plus 2k pi. All where k is an arbitrary integer. Right? Pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, or sorry, let me say it this way pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4 are the two values between 0 and 2 pi where cosine of theta is positive root 2 over 2 and 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 are the values between 0 and 2 pi where cosine of theta is negative root 2 over 2. Now recall from before here we can actually combine these all together and we get theta is equal to pi over 4 plus k pi over 2 where k is an arbitrary integer. Right, I have pi over 4 when k is 0. When k is 1, I have pi over 4 plus pi over 2, which is 3 pi over 4. When k is 2, I have pi over 4 plus pi, which is 5 pi over 4. And when k is 3, I have pi over 4 plus 6 pi over 4, which is 7 pi over 4. So we're going to capture all our solutions, and I just keep adding pi over 4 to this. I add it again, I'm going to get 9 pi over 4, which is coterminal with pi over 4, and we repeat the process. We keep going around that unit circle. Now let's take a look at how we could have solved this problem a different way. I'm still going to use the double angle uh, formula for cosine, but I'm going to do it on this right-hand side. So first I'm going to rewrite this equation. I'm going to write this as cosine of 2 theta on the left, and on the right I'm going to write this as 1 half, in other words I'm factoring out 1 half on the right hand side. The right hand side is 1 half times 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, isn't it? I've just factored out 1 half. If I multiply this 1 half through I get cosine squared theta minus 1 half, which is exactly what I have. So now I can use my double angle formula over here. I have cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 half. Now 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, we just used this in the last problem. This is cosine of 2 theta. Sorry, not the last problem. We just used this in the first way that we solved this problem. So now I have a very simple situation. I'm going to subtract 1 half cosine 2 theta from both sides, and I have 1 half cosine 2 theta on the left. Right, cosine 2 theta minus 1 half of cosine 2 theta is just 1 half cosine 2 theta. And on the right hand side I have 0. Now I can just get rid of that 1 half and just multiply both sides by 2. 1 half cosine 2 theta multiplied by 2 is cosine 2 theta. And 0 multiplied by 2 is still just 0. So now I'm solving a very simple for, uh, trigonometric equation. So cosine of 2 theta is 0 when 2 theta 
is equal to pi over 2 plus 2k pi or 3 pi over 2 plus 2k pi and we just did this remember this is just pi over 2 plus k pi when k is 0 it's pi over 2 when k is 1 it's 3 pi over 2 and I keep going to the positive y-axis negative y-axis positive y-axis negative y-axis depending on if k is even or odd this is for k and all integers and now finishing out the problem I can divide by 2 on both sides to get theta is equal to pi over 4 plus k pi over 2 where k is an integer. So you can see there's always lots of ways we can solve these problems but no matter which way we solve the problem as long as we proceed correctly we're always going to get the same solutions for theta right here we have theta is pi over 4 plus k pi over 2 and it's exactly what we had with our first method theta is pi over 4 plus k pi over 2 alright that's it for trigonometric equations uh, in the next section we're going to be starting well we'll be starting our new chapter we're going to be talking about polar coordinates we'll see you there